In this video, we're going to talk about the alternating series test for convergence. And an alternating series is in the form of this, where you've got a negative 1 to a power such that when you plug in k is 1, k is 2, k is 3, the terms will alternate either positive, negative, positive, negative, or negative, positive, negative, positive. Now, uh, this will converge when two things happen. First, you have to have a strictly decreasing series. Second is the limit has to always equal zero. And it's frequently easier to do part B first because if the limit is not zero, there's no point in figuring out whether it increases or decreases. So let's go ahead and start and do in a couple examples. So this first example is actually a special case. This is the alternating harmonic. And this is one you're going to want to memorize. The alternating harmonic will converge. Having said that, let's go ahead and prove that. I'm going to go ahead and start by doing the limit. Now remember, it's the limit of a of k, which is just this piece, or 1 over k. If I do the limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over k, the thing we like about that is its uh, end behavior. This is a low high, which is, of course, always 0. So that's our first check mark. Now we can compare and see what's going on with the next term. So if we do a direct comparison of 1 over k with the next term, 1 over k plus 1, clearly the denominator in 1 over k plus 1 is larger than 1 over k. And if the denominator is larger, then the value of the fraction is smaller. Therefore, this series converges. Let's go ahead and do a second example. So again, here we are, and we want to try. It's clearly alternating because we have uh, a negative value there. And as we plug in n is 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to alternate. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the limit. If we do the limit as n approaches infinity of n over negative 2 to the n minus 1, uh, notice that as n goes to infinity, we have an exponent in the bottom and only regular terms on the top. So exponents are going to grow larger much faster. So this is, again, a low-high situation, which is going to be 0. So that's our first part. Our second part is to show that it's decreasing. And I think in this one, I'm going to go ahead and use the ratio test to prove that it decreases. So I'm going to take... Uh, the next term, which would be n plus 1, over negative 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1. And then I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is negative 2 to the n minus 1 over n. OK? Well, so now let's take a look. If we have uh, a negative 1 and a positive 1, this part is clearly going to cancel out. Uh, in the numerator over here, we can go negative 2 to the n times negative 2 to the negative 1. That's going to allow us to cancel out those two terms. Now, negative 2 to the negative 1 can now go to the bottom of the fraction, and we get n plus 1 over negative 2n. And clearly, uh, that value, as we plug in larger and larger n's, is going to be less than 1. And if it's less than 1, then the series decreases. So we have our two parts, and this particular series, again, converges.